Hi, it's Jeff here from Rideco Technology. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your VIP Vision network video recorder to the internet for remote viewing. While this video is being done around our VIP Vision series recorders, uh, it will also apply to our Secure View HDCVI recorders and our WatchGuard HDCVI and network video recorders. Now, the first thing that we need to ensure is that our recorder is connected to your router. So, as you can see here, I'm going to connect the included Ethernet cable from the LAN port of our recorder, not the IP ports. Keep in mind that these usually have cameras connected to them. But we're going to connect this into any port of our router. Now, um, it's worth noting that you'll probably have other things connected in here. Uh, just make sure that you plug it into one port, it doesn't matter what. So once we've got that connected, the next thing that we're going to need to do is ensure that our NVR is picking up an IP address via DHCP and that we are able to connect to P2P. So we'll just jump across to that now. So here you can see our network video recorder. Um, if I right click, I'm going to enter the main menu. So you'll see here a pattern password. You'll either have a pattern password on your NVR or you'll be able to enter a regular password. So I'm going to enter the regular password here. which is admin123 in my case. Keep in mind that this, this has to be whatever you've set for the admin password. And I'll click OK. Now the first thing that I'm going to need to do is enter the network configuration. So in here you'll see that at the moment this NVR has an address of 10.1.100.250. Now I'm going to come in here and edit this. Now it's a very good idea just to make sure that this recorder is set to DHCP. Now this will, this, everything will go to blank for now, but what this will allow it to do is to pick up an IP address directly from your router. So I'm going to go OK. Now it's very important to make sure that once you've done that, you click Apply. And just jump back to something else just to see if it's refreshed. Like so. So now you can see that I've got an IP address of 10.1.100.109 and I have a default gateway of 10.1.30.1 and a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0. Now yours will vary from this. Um, it's very likely that they won't look anything like this, but so long as you're picking up an IP address via DHCP, um, everything should be good. So now the next thing that we need to do is come to our easy for ip settings. Now these are also known as P2P on a lot of recorders. Uh, most people will know it as P2P, but on newer versions of firmware, it's labeled as easy for ip So I'm going to click in here. Now you'll see that the status is currently disabled. Um, so I'm going to enable this. Keep in mind, however, that you need to make sure that you've, you've got a secure password set on your recorder first. So that's outlined in another video, but uh, this is what we'll need to do first. So click Enable and click Apply. So this will take a little while to connect. So I'm just going to right click back out. It'll probably take about 30 seconds to connect usually. It depends on the network that you're on. Um, if you don't see it connect, uh, then there could be something else wrong after maybe 30 seconds to a minute, but we'll take another look back at it now. So if I right click again and go Main Menu, I'm still logged in, so I don't need to enter my username and password. But if I go into network, and you'll see now that we have connect success up here. So that means that, that the NVR has internet access and everything is working correctly. Now, you'll see from below here that we've got our two QR codes. So we've got our cell phone client here, um, which actually is just a link to the app that you need to download. Um, don't worry about that one. It's the serial number here that we're going to be needing. So obviously the next step here is going to be that uh, we need to connect to this using our phone. Um, so in this case, we're going to be connecting with a, a Samsung Galaxy S8, uh, but it would work fine, it would work the same way with an iPhone. Um, the app's just slightly different. So the app in this case is called GDMSS, as it is on, on Android in general. OK, so I'm just going to wake up the phone here. And the first thing I'm going to do is open the GDMSS app. Now 
Now once that loads, you'll see that you've got camera, door, and alarm. In this case, we're gonna be setting up a camera system or an MVR system, so I'm gonna tap on camera. And now we're greeted with the, the live preview page. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do, since we don't have anything set up on here at the moment, is to add your NVR. So you can either tap on the plus on the window there, but it's probably easier if we tap up here to device list. So just to show you that again, device list up the top here, tap on this icon. Now we're going to want to add a device. The software is going to warn us that we need to make sure that our device is initialized, otherwise you won't be able to use it. That's what we've just done. So we've, we've already configured this um, in the early part of the video. So I'm going to tap OK. Now, this is a wired device that we're going to be configuring, so I'm going to tap wired device. And we're going to configure it using P2P. So I'm going to tap P2P. The first thing that we need to do is name our device. So in this case, I'm just going to call it Rhino. The second thing that we need to do is enter the serial number. Now, if you take a look back at the NVR page, so you can see that we've got a serial number here. Now, I can enter this serial number manually, but it's usually, it's something that some people will have issue with entering and it'll usually take a little while. So if you see above that, you've got a QR code. Now, this, this has that serial number encoded into a picture. So what we can do is we can scan that. Now, if we look back at our phone again, I can tap this icon to the side here that looks like the, the QR code that we had before. And you'll see that now, I'm going to be able to scan the QR code. And that's worked successfully. So now, you'll see that the QR code is, has entered the serial number. So the next thing I need to do is input my password. Now this is the password that you were using earlier. So in this case, admin123 is what we set our password for. Keep in mind that the username 888888 will not work for this. You need to have set up either the admin password or you need to have added another user. So now if we, if we look back at the phone again, you'll see that you've got start live preview. So I'll tap start live preview now that I've entered all of my details. And we've entered the username and password incorrectly, so I'll try that one more time. We'll just wait for it to connect. And there you go, we're starting to load up cameras. So depending on your internet connection speed, um, obviously the, the rate at which these cameras will connect will vary, but as you can see there, we've, we've set everything back up. Now I can, just to give you a, a few little pointers in the app, if I double tap on an image, that will full screen it. And if I swipe left and right, I can flip between cameras. Now if I want to digitally zoom in on an image, I can pinch to zoom the same way that you would with a photo and to zoom back out I can pinch and zoom back out again. We'll do a, a complete rundown of this app um, in another video but that gives you some base, a basic rundown of how to connect your network video recorder um, using P2P. In certain situations P2P won't work so if you're on a corporate network maybe they've, they've blocked certain uh, protocols for instance P2P may not work in that case you'll have to set it up using port forwarding internet access up using port forwarding it's also worth noting that our ultimate series NVRs do not include P2P um, they must be port forwarded um, but yeah if you've got any other questions feel free to leave a comment below uh, we'll be doing more and more videos like this including one on port forwarding and as I said before more information about how to use the app um, but yeah, it's Jeff from Rhino, so thank you.